Hey guys, welcome. This is Autodesk AutoCAD 2014. Thanks for joining me today. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to set up the AutoCAD system so that you too can follow along and create astonishing great programs using the CAD program. All right. When you first are greeted with the 2014 program, you're going to see here that we have a splash screen that dedicates all the information here for work, learning, and extended information. At this moment, this does not concern us, but if you want to in the future, you will see when you create your drawings and templates and things like that, that they will show down here, down below. So right now, we're going to shut this off uh, and just close it for now, but if you want to not have it show up in the future, you can click display, uncheck the display at startup. So I'm going to close this down. You'll be prompted with this uh, dialog box here, which is no longer needed, so we're going to close that out. And you're going to also see a type command bottom area down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this file and the left hand side you're going to click and drag this and you're going to drag it down to the bottom area of your CAD full, uh, area and it'll snap to the bottom like that. You can see it here. I can detach it and then I can attach it. Once you bring it down you'll see right above the line and it adds the command line down to the bottom there. Alright, so getting started you're going to see here you have a letter A for Autodesk here, AutoCAD. Now just a, a warning and a tip of advice here. When you click on that uh, if you click on this once, it'll display the menu bar and the options here that you have. The new options, create, save as, export, publish, etc., print, blah, blah, blah. But if you double click on this icon, if you double click on it, it will close the program out for you instead of hitting the red X. So again, if you, hit the, if you double click on this, it will close the program very much like hitting the red X. So be aware of that. Watch how many times you're clicking on it and uh, get to know that. The second thing is this here is called a uh, toolbar. This here is your, is your toolbar that's uh, a top top or your ribbon that displays all the different tools that you can use down below here that is also in your display area. So as we go through these, you'll see the difference. You have home, insert, annotate, layout, parametric, view, manage, output, plugins, Autodesk 360, sketchbook designer, vault, and express tools. Now, many of these have di many different features, which we're not going to get into, but to get the basic setup all along with me, and I'll show you what we're going to do to get this semester started off correctly. All right, so number one, what we're going to do is we're going to inverse the layers and set up the, the icons and things like that so they are able to be printed on paper. Right now, this is only a digitized version, and it usually uses a black background with white fonts and white text. But when you print out white on white paper, it doesn't come out very well. So we have to invert these colors to, you know, for the printing purposes. So right now you're going to see here there's a mode, there's layout here, there's a layout too. And the model, model view here, you'll see here this is what you create will show up in your layout view here uh, for printing purposes. Down below, uh, you're going to see a bunch of options down here, you know, for object snaps and things like that. These are icons that we're going to talk about later. In the bottom right, you have other icons, and you have the Minimize tab or Control tab to make it larger or smaller. You have Northwest South orientation views, uh, and, and like I said, we're going to get into that all in one shot. But for right now, what I'd like you to do is to right-click here um, to on the icons, here, and you see where it says Use Icons? Uncheck that. When you uncheck that, it'll show you that you have the words that are there, Interference, Snap, Grid, uh, polar, O snap, etc. So what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is we're going to shut off the grid because it's not needed. We're going to shut off the grid, so that's unchecked. The next thing we're going to leave on, we're going to say we're going to leave polar on, O snap. Uh, we're going to leave O track. Or we're going to leave ducks on there, dynamic and type all leave to where they are. For the next thing for O snaps, if you right click that and go to settings, you're going to see here a dialog box that pops up. In this dialog box, box you're going to see the items that are going to need to be selected. You're going to want to select endpoint, midpoint. Uh, you're going to want to select, uh, I think it's perpendicular, tangent, and parallel. These are the ones that are going to be the most important. Perpendicular, tangent, and parallel. These are the ones that are going to be most important. And so, uh, I don't know if, we're, if you ever want to do that. That's all you got to do is come down to O snap, which is object snap. Go to settings, and then the dialog box will pop up here if you want to turn these on for the future. So once that's done, that's one part of the stage that's done. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to dimensions, and our dimensions are found in annotations. When you click on annotations, you go to the dimension line, and if you look really closely right here, you'll see a, a small pop-up box. If you click on that, you get another box that says Dimension Style Manager. 
If you go to modify, modify you'll see here an area where you can change the different dimensions for you know labeling and dimensioning things. And we're going to go to primary units. Our unit of measurements are not going to be in decimals. We're going to use fractional. Okay, fractional message um, format is a great way to use fractions and understand how to you know dimension things properly. And we're going to do the precision down to one thirty second. Okay, so one thirty second is the smallest we're going to get to. And when you're done with that, all you got to do is hit OK and then close the box out below. So that's the second thing that we're going to do that takes care of doing the dimensions. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to the home layer and we're going to go work on the layers. Think of layers as an onion. Whatever's on top is the most closest to your viewing screen. Whatever's below that is the furthest down below, which is in the background. If you go click on the layer properties right here, this dialog box will pop up. Just click on this and expand this a little bit so you can see what's going on. And I'm just going to move these over a little bit so you can kind of see what is actually happening here and uh, you can see the, what the words are saying here. All right. All right, so right now we have nothing, no layers, nothing created. So we're going to right click here and create some layers. We're gonna go new layer and we're gonna type in the following layers that we have here. Center, enter. And then we're gonna go new layer. We're gonna do dimension. We're going to do uh, hidden. We're going to do solid. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, my Atlanta. All right. Sorry about that, folks. So anyway, we have center, dimension, hidden, and solid. Now, over here, what you can do is you can turn these layers on or off at any given time. You can lock them if you don't want them to be locked. You can go to center and you can change the color. So what we're gonna do for center, instead of being white, we're gonna change it to black and okay. We're gonna go to dimension. Dimension will be white. Hidden will be also black and okay. And then white, uh, the solid will also be black here. So black will be solid. Now, continuous the line type, we're going to change these. In order to change that, you have to click on the line type and then click on the area where you want to change. So center, we're gonna double click on this, and these are the line types that are there right now. We have to load more. So you're gonna click load, and you're gonna scroll down till you see center. You'll see center, A, B, C, D, right there, center line. We're gonna use this center line, hit okay, it adds it to the slot. You're gonna load again, and the next line you're gonna use is hidden. So if you look for hidden, you should see hidden line right here, and then add that to the mix. So now you have center, continuous, and hidden, hit okay. Now you're able to change these lines to what they should be. So when you click this, this is going to be center. Dimensions is going to be continuous. Hidden is going to be hidden. And the solid is also going to be continuous as well. That takes care of the line weights and all that sort of stuff. You can change them later if you so would like to. The next thing we're going to do is close this out because we don't need that anymore. But if you want to change your layers, you can see them here at any given time. Now that they're there, you can uh, select the layers that you're, you're in uh, right here. You can see now there's center, dimension, hidden, and solid. Those are the ones that you just created. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to options now. You're going to go to the A in the left-hand side. You're going to go to options. Once you're in options, you're going to go to the display tab, which is up here. And you're going to change this to light theme. And then when you have the display tab, you're also going to go down to color right here. Once you're in color, we're going to change the color from black to white. And notice the background will change when you hit apply and close. The background has now changed to white. Because remember, we're changing the background and now when we start drawing our continuous lines, they will be black. So it'll be black lines on white paper so when it'll be easier to print. <clears throat> All right, so we'll apply that, which will be great. The next thing we're going to do is to go to, what was it? It was, um, user preferences you're going to go to yeah user preferences right click customization and right here is a big one right click customization you're going to go turn on one time sensitive right click right here turning that on will apply uh, a very good thing for you so as soon as you right click on any item that you're doing it'll enter it for you instead of having to you know hit escape every single time it just you right click will end the command for you so that is the basic setup for setting up cad 2014 for our semester uh 
Once you have this all set up, what I suggest you do is to go file, save as, and save your drawing template or save as drawing. I would say uh, save drawing template uh, here. And what you're going to do is you're going to save it to your folder. Uh, for this example, I'm going to save it to my CAD folder. And I'm going to save it as template. Okay. T, T, M, P, L, A, T, template. And what I'm going to do is save that as a template there and now this is a drawing template save all layers yes so what's going to happen once you save it as a template every single time you open up a document and you go file template you can open this up and then immediately do a file save as drawing or something else that you're going to be working with okay this way you don't have to go through all those styles and clicking on things back and forth it's already going to be done for you in one shot so i hope you paid attention to this if you need to rewind the video uh, and and rewatch it and uh, stay tuned for the next lesson. Thank you.